About every year, the National Archives puts a new original letter from George Washington on display. This is a letter from George Washington to Henry Lee, Governor of Virginia, written on July 3rd, 1792. For the exhibit, our goal is to prepare the document so the, the document will be appreciated um, and has no other uh, distraction. The main problem of this document was that there were old adhesive discolored paper tapes which obscured Washington's writing. We can uh, immerse the document in water bath. I didn't want to do that because it still has a wonderful old cream color and I absolutely did not want to disturb it. The artist, William Williams, attempted to approach President Washington through a letter of introduction offered by the governor of Virginia, Henry Lee. Washington refused uh, this proposal uh, to pose for a painting. Your letter of the 20th was presented to me yesterday by Mr. Williams. But to be frank, and I hope you'll not be displeased with me for being so, I am so heartily tired of these kinds of people that it is now more than two years since I have resolved to sit no more for any of them. And we believe that during the presidency, his eight years of the presidency, he sat for over a dozen artists. But Sitting for portraits was not his most favorite thing to do in life. Besides the irksomeness of the sitting and the time I lose by it, these productions have in my estimation been made use of as a sort of tax on individuals by being engraved, and that badly, and hawked about or advertised for sale. You might be in the painter's chair for a few hours. Uh, you might have to go back for return sittings two or three times. Master of this lodge, then wrote a letter on behalf of Williams to President Washington, offering, in effect, to uh, have Washington sit for the painting, and the painting in return would be gifted to the lodge in perpetuity. And after testing, I found that adhesive uh, respond to water. And after uh, that water softened the adhesive, I just carefully scrape away. A loss, paper loss, will be filled with archival paper that is compatible to original document color. I call this Washington and the paparazzi because in a sense this is the 18th century version of paparazzi. So you can read the letter and then see the resulting portrait and see how really unhappy he looks about the whole situation. <laughs>
form the Electoral College. Each elector casts one vote following the general election. The candidate who gets 270 votes or more wins. The newly elected president and vice president are then inaugurated on January 20th. For more information, go to kids.usa.gov slash president. I would give everybody's tax money on time so they can go grocery shopping and buy clothes for their kids and for their self. If I were president, I would... I would make more after-school things for kids to do, and I would have more community colleges so people wouldn't have to pay for big universities if they couldn't afford it. If I was president, at least every year I would give schools $1,000 so kids can afford textbooks and pencils if they couldn't afford it. If I were president, I would make sure everyone in the country has free rights. What I would do if I was president is I would lower taxes so everybody can have some extra money for clothes and food. What I would do if I was president would pay more money to get the army trained for a better and stronger army. If you're president. If I was president, I would give the kids who do not have a well education a better chance to get into college.